Hey everyone, we're gonna go ahead and uh, change it up with the workout today. So we're gonna do a workout um, with a broomstick if you have one or if you have a bow staff or something similar. Uh, or it could be a, a mop stick. And most of them detach. So hopefully you have one that detaches, right? Or you can just screw it off and then you have your, like a little bow staff or a broom staff. Okay, if it does not detach, you can still go ahead and use the broomstick. It's gonna be a little bit, the, the weight will be distributed a little bit unevenly, but it'll be fine, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and use my bow staff for this, All right? So some of these drills may look funny, but don't knock it till you try it. So we're gonna go ahead and just start with some wrist rolls. So you're gonna extend your arms forward, right? And just roll the broom or the bow staff forward, right? Once I get the hang of it, I'm gonna to try to pick up the speed, right? Pick up the speed. And you can count your individual wrist rotations. Try to get to 100, right? Go as quick as you can, okay? Then I'm gonna roll it backwards, right? So once again, once you get the hang of it, Try to pick it up, All right? Once you, your forearms and your shoulders and your arms get fatigued, it'll challenge your coordination, okay? So once you go ahead and do your wrist rolls with your palms facing down, then we're gonna go ahead and do it with our palms up, okay? So same thing, I'm gonna extend my arms forward, okay? And then I'm gonna roll it inside, okay, towards me, turning it towards me like that, All right? Okay? So, go to about 100, or till it burns really bad, okay? And then forward, okay? This one's a little bit more difficult, especially after you're feeling fatigued. Okay, and if, of course, after each exercise, you can go ahead and pause the video, take a quick, you know, little breather, drink some water, okay? All right, so once we go, go ahead and get our wrist rolls in, we're gonna go and start with some shoulder presses. So you're basically gonna divide the staff into three pieces, more or less evenly. So my hands are slightly wider than my shoulders. It could be here, but I'm gonna go slightly wider and I'm gonna bring the staff to my chest and just go up, right? Up, shoulder press. Okay, and I wanna to try to get a nice full range of motion like that, okay? And I'm gonna do this 20 times. Nice and smooth, kind of slowly, so that way I get used to the range of motion, warm up my shoulders and my chest muscles and all the other working muscles, and then make sure I'm not gonna hurt myself. Okay, once we go ahead and get about 20 reps or so, doing it like that, and you're gonna go ahead and do it quickly, okay? So you're gonna go try to pick up the pace and do it consecutively, so let's say we go for 20. So I'm gonna go here, up. Bam, got my 20 in, okay? You're gonna feel a little silly, but it, trust me, you get a good workout. Okay, so then after the, the 20, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do 10 more. This time I'm gonna concentrate one at a time. Okay, and especially those of you that are training in the martial arts, this is helpful for you to focus on your concentration and your explosive movement with any of your hand techniques. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, boom, up. Right, hold it, up. Here, up. Here, up. And of course, if you have any injuries or shoulder injuries or anything like that, you're not gonna wanna go ahead and do it as quickly. So just use common sense and be careful, okay? But if not, if you have no restrictions, then go ahead, hold the bow staff, and then you're gonna try to explode up and come back, up and back, okay? So after we go ahead and do the shoulder presses, then we're gonna do the same thing straight out like that, like a bench press or chest press, okay? So from here, Okay, same thing. I'm gonna go nice and smooth, like that. 
Okay. And as I'm doing it, even if I'm doing it slowly, I'm going to try to create some tension with all my muscles. That way I can increase the workout. Okay, so then same thing, I'm going to go nice and fast, right, pick up the pace. Bam. Okay, so after I go through my set of 20 quickly, same thing, I'm going to hold here, boom, punch it out. Boom, punch it out, right? Bah, punch it out, punch it out, and I'll do 10 like that, right? I try to get a nice explosion this way. Okay, and then for the chest press, you can do the same thing with the palms up. Okay, you can actually go ahead and do your shoulder, if you'd like a little bonus, do your shoulder press as well with the palms facing up. So you can go through the same exercise, palms up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go chest, palms up like that. Okay, same thing, I'll do it quickly, right? Okay, so go ahead, get your chest presses, and then from there, okay, I'm gonna go ahead back to this original grip, palms facing down, and now I'm gonna raise up this way. Okay, same thing, nice and smooth. When you do this exercise, okay, you have to especially be careful not to force your shoulder beyond their, its range of motion, okay? So we're gonna go up, I'm gonna swing like that. I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Okay. And then when I go up, I'm not just gonna go up passively, I'm gonna go fast, right? Making sure not to go past the range of motion. And then when I come down, I'm also gonna pull it down quick, right? Up, down, up, down. So same thing, I'm gonna do my 20. Bam, okay, you can go palms up. Same thing, you might notice you have less range of motion with your palms up, okay, you're also gonna feel it in your wrists. You can go ahead and repeat the same exact exercise with the palms up, boom, okay. Then from here, we're gonna go ahead back to this original grip, okay, with your fists facing forward. And then now, we're gonna crisscross, okay. So I'm gonna, basically go across my body with one arm at a time, like I'm punching. Okay, so if I punch out with my right, I'm gonna go across the left side of my body, and I wanna also turn my torso. So we're gonna work the core a little bit, same time that we're working the arms. Boom, reach, opposite side. Punch out, punch out, like that, okay? I'm gonna bend my knees slightly, okay? And then same thing, side to side, and start picking up the pace. So I'm gonna do it up top, okay, we can go for about 50, and then I'm gonna do the same thing down low, okay? So this is gonna be slightly smaller range of motion. We're gonna go across this way, down, I'm gonna punch down, across my body, across my body, like that, okay? So we got up top, twist, down low, twist, boom, okay? <clears throat> now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do like a steering wheel, okay? So same grip, turn, Turn the wheel, like that, okay, and pick up the pace. So if you just do it slowly, you're not going to get much of a workout, but go ahead, speed it up, and control, use your muscles to control the transition from going one direction to the next, right? So I'm going to pick up the pace, okay. So speed through about 50 of these, <clears throat> you 
you can change it up again, change the grip. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult, a little more awkward, but the same thing, right? Twist, 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 twist. Turn it, try to get that bow staff to go vertical both ways. Okay, boom, I'm sweating already. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my staff a little bit closer, okay, and I'm gonna keep my arms, basically I'm not gonna move my arms too much, I'm gonna keep my forearms pretty level, and I'm gonna try by using my forearms, okay, I'm gonna push down with my hand and resist with the other hand. So we're gonna kind of go up and down like this, okay? And so your one hand's fighting the other hand. Same thing, I'm gonna go up and down. The faster I go, the harder the workout is. Okay? You can go opposite grip as well. Same thing. Bam. Okay. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna get to the more challenging part. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna do a nice big circle push. Okay, circle all the way around, push. So I'm gonna drop my arms. I'm gonna circle toward my left, full circle, full circle. When I get back to the midline, boom, I'm gonna push into the left side. Drop it down toward the right, circle all the way around, and push. Drop to the left, circle, push. Drop down this way, circle, push. Drop, circle, push. Drop, circle, push okay and then you're gonna go go through these right make sure that you get an even number on each side so you can go for like 25 on each side keep with the 50 boom okay so <clears throat> you can go through all those exercises um, again the numbers you know de depends on your own fitness level. If you want to go ahead, you can do multiple sets. Okay, so you can just start back from the top again, do another set, and then we're gonna go after once we complete that, we're gonna go more into uh, technical skill. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now, and we're gonna get into a horse stance. Okay, and so for my non martial art viewers out there that are watching, I know some of you are watching, following along. Okay, so your horse stance is gonna be basically about double shoulder width, okay? And you're gonna bend your knees slightly and it should resemble what you would look like if you were sitting on a horse without a horse, okay? So we're gonna be in our horse stance, okay? And then you're gonna hold the staff with your fist facing out like as if you were punching, okay? And then I'm gonna take my other arm that's not holding the, the staff, and it's gonna come with palm up toward my hip. Okay, palms facing up, making a fist toward my hip. I'm gonna hold the position. I'm gonna extend my arm out nice and straight. And then from here, boom, I'm gonna punch and I'm gonna grab the staff. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this back here. So from here, boom, punch, grab the staff. Punch, grab the staff. Okay, punch, grab the staff. Punch, grab the staff, like that. Okay, so you can go ahead and see how many of these you can get. Try to see how quickly you can do it without the staff, you know, moving around or lobbing it up and trying to catch it. You can start, you know, slower like that. And then you can pick. Okay, so after you go ahead and try it horizontally, okay, then you can turn it and do the same drill vertically. Okay, so now it's just gonna be like a vertical punch. So I'm gonna go here. This is still gonna come back and I'm gonna grab it vertically. Here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, now, <laughs> if you're doing this at home, which 
you should be doing it at home, of course, that's the whole point of this. I recommend you do not do this in front of a TV or anything that uh, might break, right? Or have a spotter, okay? Because there's a good chance that when you go to do this, you're gonna pop the staff and it's gonna go forward. You might not catch it, right? You might hit something, hit someone, okay? So do it carefully, <clears throat> do it with some supervision. Make sure you, you know, have space or some kind of padding or something or someone so that way if you're unable to catch it, right, it's not going to go flying and go smack somebody or go break something, okay? So proceed with caution, okay? Then after you guys finish off those punches, okay, working on your speed and your technique there, catching the bow staff, we're going <clears> to <throat> wrap up with a few kicking drills, okay? So you can go ahead and use your staff as to hold yourself up, okay? So I'm just gonna place my staff down close to my support leg, like that. And I'm gonna start out in a kind of pre-pivoted position. So if I were kicking forward, I need to pivot when I kick. So I'm gonna start out already pivoted, okay? And then from here, I'm just gonna lift up my leg for a roundhouse kick, okay? And then, boom, kick out. 10 times, okay? Kick out 10 times with the roundhouse. Try to hold it, try to make sure that you're, when you're kicking that your thigh is not dipping each time. So find a position that you can do comfortably. So if it's, if it's here, that's fine, right? Kick, so make sure you get nice extension and, and recoil, right? Kick out, bring it back. Okay, so it doesn't matter the height, but the main thing is that you want to have good form. So you do 10, other leg 10, you can do that. You can do five sets of that or 10 sets of that, okay? And then we'll go to side kick, okay? So for the side kick, it's going to be slightly different, okay? Because the, the mechanics of the side kick is a little bit different. So I'm going to use my, my bow staff, my trusty bow staff here. Okay, I'm going to bring my leg in and my knee is going to be tucked in more. Okay, and my ankle foot position is different. It's not like this for the roundhouse. It's gonna be inside. And so if you're using the bow staff, make it an extra challenge by touching the staff, okay, with your thigh, and then pushing all the way through. Then come back, touch, and kick. Touch, kick, touch, kick. And I promise you'll feel that. Okay, so same thing, you try to get 10 in a row. If you can't get 10, do five, do three. Okay, and then just pick, alternate legs, pick your leg back up, try again. Okay, see how many sets, you see if you can get to at least 100, okay? And then for the, <clears throat> the final exercise, all right, the cool down. We'll go ahead and we'll get into a squat position and we'll use the staff, we'll place it in the center of our thighs like that, and you'll just try to hold the position, okay, and see how long you can hold it without knocking your staff forward or without allowing it to fall toward your hips, right? So just kind of sit here, relax, concentrate, have your arms out, you can bring them in, okay? But the idea is hold the position, don't come down here, this is kind of cheating, right? The staff's falling down on my stomach. I'm sort of just relaxing here, right? Or if I'm up too high, it's gonna fall down like that, right? So I want it right here, hold still. See if you can get to a minute, right? Get a minute, try maybe three rounds of a minute. Or if you barely make the minute or whatever, go make the second round a little bit shorter. Okay, three rounds, and bam! Okay, there is your bow staff slash broomstick workout. Hope everybody is uh, staying active, staying safe. See you guys soon.